Good morning, my fellow designers. Well, here we are again. Uh, today we're off to the Reading job. Uh, first of all, I'm going to grab the lovely Ernest. And actually, before that, I'm going to grab a hot chocolate and a coffee for him. Um, we're all set, actually. It should be quite an interesting day. We have quite a few things going on. Uh, lots of things being put up, sorted around, furniture moved. And we're also going to be mapping out the rug space today, which is going to be an interesting one. Um, because the layout that I've sort of chosen has been fairly traditional uh, for them in their rooms. Um, but again, it's personal preference with rugs. Um, some people particularly want rugs to go under furniture, some don't. Um, there is a right and a wrong way, according to popular myth. Um, but again, you have to do what the client wants as it's their home that they're going to be in. So that's the plan for today. I think we'd better get on with it. Let's get to Reading. So after much ado, uh, here we're seeing the main sitting room here. Uh, we've got a bit more daylight going on today, so you can see the uh, pictures up on the wall. These are probably only temporary, but they're up there for the moment, um, just to make sure that they're out of the way. Um, Ernest has just put on the TV bracket, so that's all looking good. Um, and exactly where it should be, ready for the TV to go on. And these are the lights on the joinery. Just making sure they're all working and the last thing to go on is going to be the handles. This is for the cupboards. These are them here. These are by Anthropology. I'll put a link up for you. Um, they're handmade, so we have to, uh, they're not going to be looking the same. Um, but those will be going on the doors and drawers shortly. Now, out in the hallway, we're just doing a little bit of a repair on the bracket. So you can see the little bit of a filler we put in there. That's going to be painted. So this is the curtain. Um, which you haven't really had a chance to see. I will get more better shots really for you. Um, it's a beautiful thick fabric, Tana. Uh, this is uh, by Romo. I'll put a link up again for you, but that's looking great with the new tie back on the corner there. Now, excitingly up in the master bedroom. So these are the inner panels all the way along here for the inside of the wardrobe doors. So remember that these were glazed. So if we take a look at those. So these are the wardrobe panel doors just here with the glass. And they are going to be fixed, these panels, inside on wires, which I'm sure you've seen many a time before. So these are already here. Here they are all lined up uh, with their screws and ends on them, ready to go inside the wardrobe which uh, we're going to be drilling in to the top there right at the top and then these will be fitted on it's a little bit it's tough work but it has to be done uh, the next thing of course are the handles to go on we have a choice of these blue ones which are lovely um, which are very very pretty indeed or there's horn and the thing about the horn ones are they're not all the same so you can see here these are quite different not quite sure what she's going to go for yet uh, but uh, we'll see they're quite different to the blue aren't they we'll see and the shabby chic sideboard is in it just needs to be moved up a little so it doesn't squish those curtains we've got a bit of room on the other side uh, so that's in which is all good and finally the inners for the wardrobes are in she went for the horn handles which I'll show you um, so it looks a much softer look, beautifully done there um, at the back there. That's myself and Ernest's handiwork. And these are the horn handles. She went for the horn in the end, I thought she would. And they look very smart indeed. So that's Ernest and I's work done for this year. Everything is on, the TV is on, the sound bar is on, everything connected. The handles have been installed, everything is set, everything is tidy. Um, I wish you all a fantastic Christmas and New Year celebration. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me on these trips and there's more to come in 2018. Have a fantastic New Year and I'll see you then.